Very good morning to the recently crowned Kazoo Masters dance champion and TikTok sensation, Stephen Bunting. Morning, Stephen. Morning, Stephen. Congratulations. Good morning. Thank you very much. Are you back down from cloud nine yet? Oh, I'm still uh, absolutely full of flu, so I've not even had time to celebrate yet. Well, I tell you what, mate. I'm, I'm just looking at it. The result itself, obviously, beating uh, Van Gerwen in the final, eleven seven. But but prior to that, Peter Wright ten two, Nathan Ashmore eleven one. Effectively, the tournament couldn't have gone any better, could it? No, I thought it all. Uh, apart from the first round, obviously Ross Smith. Um, he had a bad start against me with the one fifty checkout, but to beat the world number one and um, world champion second round in Luke Humphries was amazing. Yep. And then, obviously, the game against Peter Wright had just seemed to hit every, everything that was in front of me. The game against Aspinall was exactly the same. Uh, we had a bit of banter backstage because we're really good friends, but that was quite a difficult game um, because I don't like seeing Nathan struggling. And then the Michael Van Geren game was a bit of nice little bit of revenge for him beating me in the World Championships. I mean, look, obviously... You've had some difficult times, Stephen, in the past, you know. Dip in form. I think at times you were ready to walk away from the game altogether. Did you always believe somewhere that it would happen, that you would make the breakthrough? Uh, I think I needed a little bit of help on the way. Obviously, I've, it's been documented the scene, sports psychologists. I'm still seeing a hypnotherapist now. I've got a, an interview after, this, um, after our meeting today. Um, so life's just returned back to normal, to be honest. Um, I believe the hypnotist really helping, helping with my sleep um, and helping me um, get into the positive side of my brain. And I think, obviously, I can't win games like that against Michael Van Gerwen without being in the positive side of my yeah. brain. Yeah. Steve, I was going to ask you, mate, looking at it, <clears throat> I mean, darts is, it's never been more popular. It's been fantastic. Great to watch the crowds, everything about it. Um, Luke Humphries, you mentioned, winning the world there. Luke Littler's coming. He, he's put, you know, for a young man, it's been remarkable. But the question I'm going to ask you, is Michael Van Gerwen still the man to beat? Yeah, you would have to say so. Obviously, he's a multiple world champion. He, just, he demands massive respect. Um, and he's still very, very dangerous. If you give him a chance, he'll take you. Um, fortunately for me, I, my scoring was on, on par with some of the best I've played. Uh, and my finishing was really good. I think I finished the final with over fifty five percent at one hundred and two average, which um, yeah. which is very good. And obviously, people were talking about me going into the final. Obviously, my first final and being really nervous. And there was there was a bit of nerves beforehand, but I think the two uh, previous rounds, the right game and the Aspinall game, gave me a massive confidence to go ahead and, and win that final. Brilliant! I mean, brilliant performance. And by the way, as well, Stephen, brilliant picture of you in bed with the trophy. It, it brought back sort of memories of Messi with the World Cup. Yes, I think it becomes tradition now, doesn't it? You've got to you've got to get in bed with your trophy. And obviously, with it being me, uh, with it being my first one, um, yeah, I had to give something back to the fans. I think they expect that of me now, anyway. And obviously, tucking it into the car on the way home as well, and looking after it. So yeah, that that's been. Um, a big part of my life over the last probably six months, the TikTok side and the social media. And everyone seems to have uh, to jumped onto the Bunton bandwagon, to be yeah. honest. But but I saw, Stephen, that you said you would give that trophy back if it meant Jurgen Klopp stayed as manager of Liverpool. <laughs> I actually would. I'd, in fact, I'd win another, I'd win another one. Just so, <laughs> I, so I could make him stay. Yeah, I think um, it's going to be difficult to replace him. There's, there's no one out there, in my opinion, that can fill uh, the shoes he's going to leave a big void at the club. Mm. Tell you, they were, they were brilliant. I was at the game, <clears throat> Steve, I was at the game on Wednesday against Chelsea. I thought they were brilliant, but they were disappointed at the weekend, mate, weren't they? Well, I tried my best. Obviously, there was people in the practice room trying to tell me the results, but I tried my best to keep away because I wanted to keep as positive as I could. <laughs> um, so I didn't really watch any of the game. I heard all the all the scores and the sending offs and stuff. So I've still not had time to watch it back yet. It was it was a good one to miss from a Liverpool fan's point of view, yeah. Stephen. To be honest, do you still think that that Liverpool can do it? Can they win the title even after City winning last night? I still think they can. They can, but I think it's obviously it's an uphill task now. City looks so strong. Um, and there's a few injuries we have, but. You know, it's going to come down to the final final end of the season. And I think 
obviously that makes it a great viewing for for all the mm. all the neutral fans as well. Yeah. Look, Steve, you're big... want... sorry, come on, Ali. I was just going to say, I want to ask you a, a quick one, Stephen, if I may. What is it? What, what's happened to darts? I'm, I'm going back to darts. What has it happened to darts? I'm, I'm really intrigued because it's, it's almost showbiz now. It really is. You look at the atmosphere, whether it was the Ali Pali, whatever it may be, the atmosphere is fantastic. The guys and girls have a proper night out. They get dressed up. They, I mean, what, what's happened to darts? It's just blown up, really, hasn't it, over the last probably 10 years, I would say. I think Matt Schum have really shaken things up with the brilliant walk-ons to dancing girls and Obviously, the, the standard of play as well, I think. Uh, we're still the second most watched sport behind Premiership football on TV. So, um, there's obviously doing something right. But, obviously, the, the likes of Luke Little are coming through. Uh, Fallon Sherrick the other year. There's always a storyline there. And, obviously, me winning uh, my maiden title in, in 10 years in the PDC. So, it keeps people interested. And it's not... Back in the day, it was boring, wasn't it? You tuned in, you know he was going to win. It was Phil Taylor, Phil Taylor, Phil Taylor. But now it's uh, there's always there's always that few different people, and yeah. I just think what Matt Room have done has has been phenomenal. To be honest, for our sport, it's the hottest ticket in town. There's no doubt about yeah. this, Stephen. Uh, look, Stephen, well done. Hope that's well the done, first. Mate. Of, hope that's the first of many. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.